There's the sounds in the night, almost imperceptible type of light, a whisper in a whistle, a glimmer, a sort of a type. Then before your mind can decide whether it's fight or flight, there's a star in the brain stem, cutting off from the right. It's like everything went dark in a moment of a spark, and then it's a katana piercing your chest to your heart, and the bones and the cartilage is tearing apart from skin. And if it was drama, you saw. All right, welcome to the lab, everyone. We are back with another episode of Sundays with the Clink Room. My good friend uh, TJ, aka Forty Swords, is back in the cut. Back. Feeling, welcome back. Feeling, feeling good. Back. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. So we got you um, back in the uh, in the lab to to do the Sundays with uh, the Clink Room festivities. Um, for those who don't know, uh, you're one of my favorite clinkers. Um, so we had to get you back for round two. Okay. All right, so let's get into it real quick. So, Clink announced a new thing. So, if you guys like a good deal, um, the dead stock drop uh, actually has uh, a new thing. So, for the next couple of weeks, mystery hats. So for three for ninety nine bucks. So, um, the good thing about this is that you're not gonna have to wait. I mean, you're getting a good deal, three for ninety nine. Um, the big thing is, is uh, anyone who's sized seven and a half, so Clink gets a lot of sample hats. KC announced that for seven and a half, size seven and a half, he's gonna be putting mystery hats as samples. So you might be getting some, some um, really rare stuff, some old stuff. Wait a minute, that's not fair to the rest <laughs> of us people. I mean, I could swing a seven and a half. Yeah, I'm seven and three eighths. Yeah. But I mean, given that new information that you provided, listen, three for ninety nine. How can you beat that? Yeah, I think he he mentioned that three sizes are uh, are sold out already. But um, but I think m more and more stuff will be added as stuff dwindles down. So the the way I understand how it works is it's not meant to just clear out like stuff that's just sitting it's meant to clear out stuff that only has a few sizes left okay because yeah. i've seen a couple hats that it's just like a seven and like a fourth i mean you know yeah wait what's the what's the largest size seven and three four and eight, something? And eight. Yeah, okay Se seven yeah seven eight. yeah that that's you got to clean house a little bit you know and mm -hmm. um the most popular size of what a fourth Three eighths is that typically the most popular size of a? Hat? I would say between a quarter, three eight, half, five eight. Those are like the okay. main, the main bunch. Because people who they could swing usually between two. I mean, and you're not going to get the same hat three times. Obviously, mm -hmm. like in this order, they literally say, "We promise each order will ship with all unique sizes, or you will be refunded." Clink room will make it right. Trust yeah. and believe. And, the, and it looks like they're well, they wouldn't even ask for the hats back either. So it's just they'll just refund. Oh, so they're the, see, Clink's that confident in their ability. <laughs> so and quantities are limited. So that's a good deal. Um, if you're a seven and a half, that's an even better deal because you might be getting something. I wonder super. what those samples could could be. I, I mean, I'm curious. Will someone, whoever you are, if you get one of these rare samples, please share them on Instagram and tag tag Leon in this. You know, yeah. you can tag yeah. me because I'm curious myself. I really yeah. want to see what, what it is. Yeah. Honestly, I saw that. So um, for the next couple of weeks, mystery hats. That's a that's a big deal. Um, I've never seen them do this before. I'll say. So. All right. So, hmm. and then uh, we'll cover. So these are the last calls. So just a reminder that these next six hats that we cover um, will go into production. Uh, well, the pre-order will end midnight, and then they'll be sent to into production shortly after. So the first three, we got Castronaut by Milos, Happy Hour by Aurelian, and Fitted Fanatic, and Tropic Death by Jason V. Any initial thoughts here off the hop? Uh, listen, Cast Castronaut, that's a, that's a tongue mm -hmm. twister. Um, Milos been tearing it up, as we all mm -hmm. know, anyone that follows claim. That dude's come through with some classics. This thing's been killing it. Everyone's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's at, at the top of the charts. Everyone's been loving it. Happy hour, you know, there's a large alcohol loving clink contingent. After all, that's where the clink room got its name. So yep. it's only appropriate that that show up. Aurelian, obviously a Hall of Famer clinker, no doubt. Jason V, probably one of my favorite 
clinkers, bar none. So you can't really lose with any of these. Um, they're all black. I mean, they're all black hats. I mean, I'm not sure which one you would pick if you just was like, all right, one black hat's enough. But um, all, all great choices. I keep thinking about Tropic Death. Like, he's really testing the boundaries of small, <laughs> minute details on that one. Yeah. I'm sure I it'll mean, come out good. Um, yeah, that's, but it, like, it's, it's going to be one of those where you're going to get it in hand and be like, wow, this is like yeah. crazy. So, like, how much of this, if you were to give a percentage in your expert opinion, Leon, if you give a percentage, how much of this is going to be raised? What would None. you say? <laughs> None. None of, not one, May, not one of those little flowers in there is going to be raised. Maybe the black, and maybe the main flower. That that's like the one right below the nose. You mean like the one the in the bridge right of the fit? Yeah. Okay. And then there's one above, like right right here, and uh, like right between the eyes. That's maybe not being raised. No, that's not being so. raised. I don't think so. I don't know. That's how I read this. It he either raises the face. Um, I mean, raises the the black in the face, right? Or he just fake raises the the big star in the middle, or the big. Uh, I mean, flower. either way, it's something we're gonna want to see when it gets yeah. when it gets released. I just I just think of those like cooking shows, you know, like when they're plating the stuff with the tweezers. I just feel like that's how Jason V like cooking arrange yeah. this floral it's, arrangement. It's fucking. I, awesome. I'm trying to imagine the 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 layers in Illustrator, yeah. like what. It looks like, ooh, that gives me anxiety just thinking about it. To be honest with you, because each flower looks unique. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're all redrawn different. And I mean, that's colors. something that I don't know. With me, my level of like crazy perfectionism or trying yeah. to be perfect, how that's gonna, it would drive me crazy picking out which thing goes where and dragging this and putting that and make it all fit. No, no, no. So God bless. This, him. It's a Vance color play too, because he's got like four pinks in there, maybe five. There's like a beetroot, a pink, a pink glow, like a fuchsia almost. Mm. Like this is Chef's Kiss. That to me is the one that stands out. I can't wait to see how that comes out. But these are all great offerings, like you said. Mm. Black hats, can't go wrong. Black, um, cash and odds plays on the, the like that. Miami Vice, Beetroot Vice Blue. Like, you can't go wrong with yeah. that color. I mean, and basically, whatever is – it's getting to the point whereas space designs are getting to be just below skulls in terms mm -hmm. of popularity. So, yeah. like, they're, 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 they're selling seats with these space things. We've also, we also saw the space guy that was uh, a skull. <laughs> we you saw sure that, did. too. We've yeah. sure, we, we sure did. We've seen yeah. that a couple times. So, but uh, good stuff here. Let's see what else is up for pre-order. All right, up to Snow Good by Win, um, the Rippers by Adam and Jack, uh, Jake and Adam, sorry, and then Jibe Turkey from Clinkerville. <laughs> Listen, that, that man, that man knows how to make some stuff that just makes you smile. There's no question yeah. about that. That 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 guy fell. <laughs> The um, motion is so crazy. Like it, the, the gesture know, listen, is nuts. I'm gonna tell you that I I support. I want to support the Thanksgiving themes. I, I'm wearing a Thanksgiving. I, one of the few times that Thanksgiving theme has actually made it through. So yeah. I'm gonna support uh, the Jive Turkey and say I'm I'm gonna go with that out of these three, just mm -hmm. because it's so unique and. You know, it's a really Thanksgiving -y colorway, isn't it? I'm thinking gravy. I'm thinking some mashed potatoes in there, and all that. So I'll I'll definitely I'm gonna go with that out of this crew. Uh, up to snow good, definitely foreboding. Um, it it's some detailed. That's gonna be some detailed embroidery too. I mean, cause you got like three what three blues, like one two three. Like I'm looking at that yeah. cheekbone area, like right below that. That's gonna be a challenge. Um. But uh, if anyone can do it, the the wizards at Clink Room can pull it off. It'll be really Ripper, cool if they. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. And Rippers is just that's something that's a little too much for me. Like it's too okay. intense. I'm not an intense man. Uh, I'm less intense than that. 
and um the colors aren't my cup of tea so out of mm. them i would put this third snow good second and we're going with with phil to celebrate nice nice i would say uh, a really cool um underrated thing they could do to the up to snow good is to throw the outline with metallic pearl so it almost looks like a snowflake metallic pearl yeah metallic pearl. It's i didn't like even know that, that existed all right okay yeah um some people call it crack rock in in in, in the streets okay like, it's, uh, <laughs> all right so and that's, like that's a, the pg-13 version all right yeah yeah so um, metallic uh, white pearl uh would be like a really cool set off color um definitely um more like it's more popularized now but yeah that that's that would make it like you know that extra shiny mm. and um rippers i always thought rippers was kind of cool um it reminds me of uh paul jackson so he's like a, i think a uk artist pencil artist that has like all these like ripping um effects so like he'll do mm. like a like a fox and the skulls I mean, it's it's scary this could yeah. this could you know this we all know we would probably agree that the holiday like pantheon in terms of claim it's mm-hmm. got to be would you say halloween's got to be top and yeah. then christmas and it's got to be halloween then christmas yeah. So this looks like it was a, you know, should have been like a Halloween hat. Of course, it doesn't have a Halloween colorway, but um, appropriate yeah. for next year anyway. Um, well, I'm wearing a, a Valentine's Day potentially, right? You are well, wearing you are, a Valentine's well, you're Day. Great. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely I would say true. Valentine's Day, New Year's, and St. Patty's Day don't get done enough, I feel like. And I, I think you're put- right because, yeah, like th- there's been a few like Valentine's Day ish hats for the clink but not outwardly outwardly valentine's day oriented um mm-hmm. st patty's day yeah yep yeah um people wearing their hats out but thank but halloween trump the, the halloween is like the granddaddy of, of that's, clink the, the, that's their yeah that's their main event i would say yeah that's most yeah. cap collectors for custom people like yeah. halloween is the one next year i'm gonna have to try to throw my hat in the ring for no pun intended Throw my hat in the ring for a Halloween thing because I've never. I, you know what it is? I don't love Halloween. Like no. I know that's gonna give me hate mail, but it's never been like it's never been my favorite holiday. But anyways, much respect to all those that love Halloween. I mean, you you end up growing out of it. So like you, you yeah. you're in the stage of you know you're a kid, you get free candy, and then in your twenties, I like the candy. Dress, yeah. Everyone dresses up as you know. You know, like females usually dress up like you no know, sexy nurse, sexy yeah, yeah. and we're not mad at that. Yeah, and we're not mad at that. So, but then eventually you get so old that you don't want yeah. to thinking of going to uh, going out on Halloween because your anxiety. Yeah. Don't want that stage. So now we got to wear the hats and we live through the hats. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, listen, good week. Um, make sure to get out there on Sunday before Sunday. Don't wait. Don't people out there don't <laughs> wait until Sunday at eleven forty-eight to go get the hats. Just go get them now because you know invariably you're going to end up forgetting and then something you know, i've definitely done that it. before i've definitely yeah i did like, it ah, i'll wait till sunday and yeah, then I, monday comes along i'm like oh gone don't wait around. Like, oh shit yeah you know sleep easy rest easy on on that sunday and just get it out of the way early exactly all right so now it brings us to um the monday morning crits section so these will finish right before the other major holiday. So these would be on schedule to finish right around this holiday. So they're all gonna be of the same theme. This is the Christmas episode. So Yokobo's back with the big guy. That man's been MIA for a little bit. People's uh, a little bit concerned that they want some more Jacobo in the store stat. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Um, cool. His leg look almost backwards. I would almost. say no. I think the only thing is, Make I, it I didn't read it as backwards. But if that little black line connected right to the the foot that's going forward, uh, yeah. like under, then it would solve that problem. So I think I would just add that to it. That yeah. way, no one can say, "Oh, the leg's wrong." Um, I would just just connect that little tiny bit. Or just right, give him a right, bigger right, big toe right. on one side. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't really even notice the toes, but yeah, I would probably agree with you there. Or you just shade the, the back foot, shade it darker, so it's obvious that it's in the back. And then yeah, I mean, but he's if he does that, he's gonna have to either make it black, like he did the outline, mm -hmm. or introduce another 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 purple. To that. Yeah. So I would probably. I mean, I know there's a limit to the colors, but I I'd, I didn't even notice those two things because I like the spirit of this. Yeah, I like the movement and the shape. The overall shape just fits so great for for a hat that I didn't even notice those two things. So, Leon, way to go with the with the Hawkeye um, <laughs> to, to to pick those. We gotta, out. we gotta give we gotta give the crits in. Absolutely. Absolutely. First thought, I like this a lot though. It's got the Cincinnati running man red legs. Like mm -hmm. almost ish pose, like the the diving floor. I like it. It feels good. Yeah. Yeah. I would just hate to see it come through and I'm like, damn man, the, the feet. But yeah, that's no. The, that's the only um, thing. Actually, yeah, now that you mention it. He's right there I, though. Yeah, now that you meant like you're you're kind of, you're right now that I said because I haven't I didn't pay attention to the orientation of the feet. Mm -hmm. But given how they look like, yeah, I think yeah. you'd have to swap, swap the, like the foot that's going back, like the toe pointing a little bit up kind of denotes that that's the big toe. Yeah. So, yeah, if that was the case, that would be the front leg. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. You're right about that. So I would, yeah. You just shift it a little bit. The, shift the, the the foot on the left side. Shift it over, wow. and then yeah, then, it, then it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But well, I think oh, those no. are the tweaks. But yeah, tweak those. Whoever's in charge of it, tweak those. <laughs> Jacobo, if you if you're doing it, tweak that a little bit because this is this is going to be a classic. Like this is going to be a classic Christmas clink. Absolutely. Oh hell yeah! So, so one thing I would ask you about this. What would you do? Would you would you keep him like that classic clink room purple plum color, or would you make him more of a white gorilla? And would a white gorilla look weird? I would probably keep this because okay. we've already established clink clink yeah. Kong is that color ish. Yeah. So yeah. let's go with that. And I actually think it looks good off the red and like. The other color different. Too. Like, yeah. So you I don't like, expect to see that purple in there. It's different. Yeah. No, yeah. I like this a lot. Snow White under though is is, is risky though. I would hey, say. Wear gloves. You know, yeah. wear gloves when you're touching your hat. Like I'm doing this nowadays. Even even with a with a non light under, I'm I'm doing that because I I'll get, yeah. I, I'm wicked picky about dirty unders and things. So one one solution is you could reverse them. So what you would do is you get the white button, you do the, the the white over, and then the green under. That way it looks from far like you've blocked it like a Santa hat. So you want the top of the visor to be white? Yeah, because it'll yeah, look like a, even more nervous. But like, it'll look like it look like a Santa hat more. So red crown. You're right. No, nope, white 100%. and then yeah. white. That's how I would do it. But. I mean, there's nothing wrong with how he did it. It's just that's just my, my take on it. Like that's how I would interpret what yeah. he has, or even just do the purple under. Even hide the purple under there. And now, what you think that would look good with green a visor, purple under? Potentially. Right. Potentially, I would have to mock it up and see. But for sure, I would reverse reverse the the visors. If you want the white in there, keep the white on the top of the visor. Put a white button. That white's blocked like a Santa hat. I, it makes sense to me. I, see, and this is why you are, um, you know, the the color the the colorization pro. Because I don't yeah. think that way. I'm not thinking that way, but <laughs> I think that would look great. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, tough cookie. Oh, L Maxton. I don't think I recognize L Maxton. I don't recognize the name, but yeah. I'm a big Oreo dude, so I, I'm yeah. going to support this. I, I just want to. Damn, can Clint get that detailed for Oreo cookie? Because I'm seeing like little tiny details. Yeah, the, the little Oreos. etches. 
That's I, listen. I have the utmost faith in, in in Clink and things, but that's a lot. That's that's some tiny details. Um, oh, but awesome. this is hilarious. I think this is a great image. Yeah. Uh, overall, and I think it, it would make a a, um, a really cool hat. I just want to scream. Do you know the Muffin Man at this? You remember that scene from uh, Shrek? <laughs> You're a monster. Uh. Yeah. So um, this looks like is uh, yeah Max Almeida. Halvez out of Mexico, industrial designer, and he's uh, posted two clinks this one and like a zombie head one. But uh, mm. yeah, man, good to see him. This is this is a smooth design, it's cool. I, you know, what would have been cool is like little sweat drops, like coming, oh, off yeah, <laughs> like gum drops like, or like, yeah, either, or like something. coming off the eyes or something like that. Yeah, I think that that would add a little to it. I don't know that the the shadow is necessary below him because mm -hmm. yeah you don't need I mean, it i don't think that it's necessary i mean i appreciate that i mean he's got an outline going around he's got a stroke going around the figure itself but not around the weights yeah so i don't know i think you either gotta have it or don't um yeah. obviously keep, i'm a big um, proponent of the outline because it just gives you more flexibility if you change colors later down the road or whatever. So I would suggest, you know, maybe continuing it throughout the whole thing, cookies included. But I like this. This is this is good. I mean, this is a definite, just a, a good Christmas thing that we haven't seen with Clink before. We've seen Gingerbread Men, but not like this. So. Yeah. I would almost want him... To be a little bit more struggle so maybe i would even just kind of bend his back a little bit pause but like you know have him more of the reaching mm -hmm. section and then maybe just cut the cookies potentially you don't well you don't necessarily i would just make one cookie on each side and just make it funny enough as is but like all right what about, awesome what, what about not three cookies how about two cookies because i yeah. think you've got to have more than one okay fair so um, we'll go double. Yeah, we'll go two. I mean, if you even made the bar bending, would be even like, would be better. Like his actual yeah. form, I'm okay with. But like, if he was like pulling back, more of a struggle. Yeah, yeah make yeah. it more of a struggle. And I like the sweat idea. Another option could be, um, like, maybe just have the, like, one of his buttons fly off, and it's like one of those jellies or something. I don't no, know. Yeah, but be, I'm with you. Just add that extra bit of like. Like yeah, struggle. like he may or may not know how many colors Clink wants. They like mm -hmm. five or six at the most, usually yeah. six. So, like, if you even had like a green butt, like a green jelly, like you know, gumdrop or something, like as a shirt button or something yeah. like that, that would be pretty cool. Like, given that, maybe I wouldn't choose an outline for that bluish color, maybe if that was yeah. the case, but um. This is really good, though. Nah, I like it. I, I like I mean, it a lot. Yeah. Well, welcome to Clink, El Max Stone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if that's how you say it. But. Yeah. Hopefully he sees it. And maybe maybe we'll get the – hopefully the auto – if he doesn't speak English, if the auto uh, captions. Uh, yeah, sure. Translate Listen, it well. I took four years of Spanish, and I can't speak much. I mean, I can, <laughs> I can read it okay. Like, I can kind yeah. of a lot of it, but – uh, thanks, uh, high school. That uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, but we know we know a couple of professional translators. So if he has an issue hearing what we say, then we can we can send him the transcript in in uh, Spanish for sure. But uh, red nose, half a L. How do you feel about this? Uh, this is good. This mm -hmm. is good. Like um, you can, Rafael is one of them dudes. You can tell who. Like when you see his style, you kind of know at this point because he's you know he's a long time contributor, so you kind of know who it, who it is. Um, I, I like it. I don't. I think that the white that's showing is um, it's kind of too uniform. If you, yeah. you know what I mean, it's a little. Yeah. It, it's too like it should be. I, I wanted to see it a little bit less regimented looking. Um, mm -hmm. The glow on the nose i would i would probably say if i was going to um pick something out this looks familiar to another clink though what is what does this look familiar to um i'm not sure 
I feel like he submitted this last year. Okay, maybe that's what it wrong. is. I could be wrong, but I feel like yet yeah, this this might not be a brand right. new one. I think I could be wrong. Now my memory's bad with certain stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know if my monitor's not synced right. So on one of my monitors, that red looks like scarlet, like normal red. It and doesn't. My, yeah. On my other monitor, it almost looks like it's infrared. I think I would probably say it looks on mine. It looks a little bit more infrared. Yeah, I think um, I prefer this to be infrared. To be honest. Yeah. Just no, to, I, just I mean to make it, it is more striking. Yeah, yeah, I like the simplicity of how the head is rendered. Um, you know, I always appreciate that with with other people's designs because mine, I don't usually draw that way so like i appreciate just the straight just the blockiness and the kind of it looks kind of like a woodcut yeah um so i do like that um would you uh, keep the outline the infrared i actually would yeah. um i actually would because you're gonna like it's so central to the the color is so central to the theme mm -hmm. like and yeah i would um uh, would you change it to something else? I'm curious I mean, to see what it would look like if it was like silver or even mm -hmm. metallic gold. But because if you did that, then the whole shiny, the the part that's the white shine thing is going to mm -hmm. change. So then that would no longer, like the whole outline of that. And it just would seem like it wouldn't. like. But then again, we don't really know because unless we actually see it for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but actually, I mean, it's a good shape. It's a good size. It fits yeah. well on the actual canvas. But that white is a little too... Too much. It needs to be a little bit more organic, I think, in terms of the, how yeah. it shines. And, and, and I want the record to show I like it as is. I would just be curious yeah. to see what it would look like with uh, a different color outline. I'm just thinking like future recolors possibly or whatever. If you, mm. if you tie it all together now, it might, it might muddle it up later. Yeah. But... I'd be curious to see that with like a different outline, to see if which one would be better in, in the end. But I, I like it as it is too. So it's cool. Red nose, Rudolph. Yeah. It hits on the mark. And and I and I would do I would prefer it to be infrared over just a regular you know, kind of mm -hmm. standard scarlet front door red. So yeah. yeah, I think you did a great job. All right. What do we have next? We have Snow me, clinker edge branding. So you must be from the snow me state. <laughs> That's Missouri, wait, right? The show uh, me state. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, what state is that? I was gonna try to try that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you ruined it. Sorry, um, but snow me. snow me. I like this a lot. This is like a like a good like this would be good for like a you know those ugly sweater parties. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this this is good. I mean, we haven't seen. Well, we've seen it. I mean, there's a snowman every year. There's a clink snowman usually somewhere. Um, so this is obviously a different take on it. The only thing that I don't like about the rendering is the kind of uniform blue around the body of the okay. snowman. It's a little too, like, I don't know. Like you I it up a little bit. Like maybe well, not only one that, side I just heavier. Don't, I just don't, yeah, I just don't think you need it to be uniform around there like that. Like if you had it kind of curve into like, you know, there should be more white showing. In other words, like Fair. he doesn't need that around. Like, I mean, kind of like the head. Chest. He did it. He did it good on the head. Like right, it's, it's absolutely. Like that accent. Yeah, that's 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 a good point. So it's like just kind of treat it the same way. Like I would just give more white to it and take away some of that uniformness. Um, especially because where, I, I mean, it's handled so well in the snow right in front of them, like the way that it is. And it doesn't, it's taking away from the overall design, the way it's handled in the body. So yeah. that's what I would change to this. Um, I don't know how many colors he has in here, that but a lot. yeah. Cause I mean, the only thing that I would say is, I mean, I even in the gold, it seems like there's three colors. That's what I'm saying. Between like the, the gold, in the gold, in the the 
dollar sign that yellows that that white's not gonna they're just too thin yeah. and the actual chain is really detailed like you might have to like redo that chain and just simplify it a whole bunch like just mm -hmm. a couple you know just given that um and the money obviously like like you say has a couple different and, and, and then the the actual coins have a bunch of different colors in it but yet the money itself the actual paper money doesn't yeah so mm -hmm. i think you need to kind of probably take the cue from the dollars and not the cents like simplify yeah. the cents to make them as simple as the dollars but i don't even know if you need that like yeah the the coins it's kind of like a throne it's cool <laughs> Yeah. But if you are faced with the eliminating colors thing, like that's the easiest one that can go, I think. Mm. But I love, yeah, this is fun. This is cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to have to be because, like, he's got way more than five, six colors yeah. here because you got two oranges for the nose and, you know, all the other colors. So I, I think that it works well. Um, a solution is, is you can, instead of coins behind him, you could just put money behind him. That like too. stacks, like bundles yeah. of whatever. I almost feel like his bundles are too thin too. So if he's holding what four, I'm like there's no there's no weight to the money. It's almost like he's just holding out four bills, yeah. which is cool too. But it's it's made to look like stacks. Either that, like he needs more thumb. Like right now, Maybe. it's just like two round like mittens, and like if he had like you know maybe you could simplify it a little bit and like. Well, one thing you can do, yeah. One thing you can do is, yeah. you make the stacks behind him, so it's just piles, and then he's just holding one big stack to his ear or something, you know, like, you know. That um, way you're, you know, you're it'll it'll change. Colors. Yeah, it'll change um the overall. I mean, what's going for it is it's a good shape in terms yeah. of logo for because they're fanning out yeah yeah so it's a good shape i mean they don't it, it's also like the the actual we let's assume that the stack of money is like this like they're not individual bills so the stacks yeah. are like this they don't have any depth in terms of depth as the way that the money does the money the coins in the back the coins in the back you're seeing them they're not like you're not looking at them straight on. They've, they're tilted a little, so they they look like that they, they've got some depth to them. So yeah. you don't have that with the money. So yeah. And again, this is we're, we're here to pick nits. That's what we're yeah. here to do. But um, no, I think this is. I mean, I think. I I don't know that you even need the snowflakes to be honest with you. You don't um, need them because I don't. It, it doesn't hold it well, and they end in a weird spot too. And... Yeah, I would probably do. I mean, I would probably uh, unless you're going to make them really more detailed than just dots. I don't think you need to do it. Yeah, and I'd switch the red under, but again, that's just nitpicking. Mm. Nope. Um. Yeah, solid though. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Like this, this is cool. This will go well as a sticker, a t-shirt, a hat, a fucking nah, yeah, chain. Absolutely. A pin, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Edge, uh, let's see what else. Snow day, <laughs> so uh, Sierra Gons. I mean, they even got Santa out there, sh Shelby. Yeah, that's wrong, Santa's man. working. Santa, listen, that's what you got L's for. You're supposed to, they're supposed to be doing that kind of stuff. Santa's got bigger, bigger fish to fry. It's crazy, but this I is like how he used like this, like kind of like a uh, light, light blue. It almost looks like ice, you know. Mm. I think that's a cool touch, but snow day. I don't like it on a gray hat, though. No? Like, I don't like it on a gray. I mean, I Can you make it on a white front panel? I don't know. Maybe. Like, if you do a white hat, you can't you can't see the blotch of snow, I guess. But maybe you just use that and work it in nice nah, negative space. You, I, I think on a white hat, this would be really cool because the embroidery is going to stand. That, that snow is going to pop off of it. Like so even texture. though, yeah, the texture is going to do it. I think that would be really um, pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I would probably, like, I would probably do what, like Santa's feet in there, like make the blue the same color blue as in his beard. The yeah. you know those like little things in there. Um, 
and then just use that blue to accent some of the little, you know, bumps or ridges that would be in the snow pile. And, and I would apply that to what's coming off of his shovel and put this yeah. on a white. If you don't love an all white hat, which I don't, but mm. um, use the, just have it be a front panel hat. Front panel, yeah, yeah. And be red exactly. around the sides or something. I think this would be, this would, see, this is one of those ones that's so simple in its, in its rendering that it really works awesome because yeah. it's just gonna it's just gonna pop easily off of it and people it's just gonna read so quick um that and everyone's gonna enjoy that this this is one too that you can appreciate that you don't necessarily have to wear just on christmas day you can read lead, leading up to christmas this would be a cool hat to any wear. day that there's snow falling you could wear this hat yeah and people would, would smile about it yeah. Unless you were at like eight feet of snow, and then people is just pissed off anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, other, I mean, this will work. This will work. As a snow shoveling uh, northeasterner, that is terrible form <laughs> to shovel. Snow. Yeah, well, listen, Santa's. You would think he'd know his way around a snow shovel. Yeah, if, yeah. If you're not having the elves help out, you would think he would know better. But yeah, but great, great hat, Sierra. Um, nailed it. I think got the theme. Hot Rod Red. Okay, Seahawks back. Um, All right. Got a little, uh, little pickup Hot Rod. Got the flames going. Mm. I like the theme. I don't know if I love the face. Yeah, the face is probably where it's less. The strength, the strength is not in the face. That's for sure. Where it was, it's less successful. Um. You only really need to hint at his mouth, and I think you've got part of the beard coming down, but then the other part coming out. Flying back, to, yeah. To, yeah, to, to, to denote speed. So I think that's – you got to straighten that part out. Um, I don't think you necessarily need to have it blowing backwards, but if you do, you've got to make it all kind of do that, and it doesn't need to be – you don't even need that much black in there. You just need to hint at a couple little points. And the mouth is too far up, and so you got to change. You got to straighten that portion out. Um, the the engine of the car looks cool. The actual shape shape of the car, it 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 works. I mean, I would probably have been happy with it if it was a sleigh and just forget the forget the like. You could have a hot rod sleigh, like That'd be it cool. would be. It would be you know it would be different. Um, as it is, the tires are – get rid of the gray outline around the tires. All you need to do is just, like, do some reference material – just do a quick reference check on, like, what some other artists do to simplify tires and wheels and just um, do away with that circular portion of it. The flames are not bad um, the way yeah. it is, but I think that the pipes, I would – I don't know. They need to be a little – I think you need to make them so they look like they're going backwards more. Right now, they just yeah. kind of look like they're sticking out. Flying to the side, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I would change that. Yeah, because the pipe at the back, if it follows the pipe at the front, there would no be no way that that's where the fire would be blowing. The fire would be blowing back yeah. the other way. Um, but yeah, those are like small nitpicks. I think the theme is cool. I don't know if we need the, the white shadow on the bottom. Yeah. Um, I think you need some, more... Right. Sorry, I think you need more of his body. Santa looks way too thin. Way too you need thin. More, right? yeah. more of his body, less less of the 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 like sack, um, the toy sack there. So, I would say that. I do like your idea. They'll turn this into like a sleigh mobile, like a sleigh rod. Yeah, or a rod. and then you don't have to worry yeah. about. I mean, that'd be cool because we haven't seen like a hot rodish type sleigh ever in Clink. So, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that we really need. I mean. I would probably say if you're going to do the white all along the bottom, like he's on snow, make you might as well at that point make him in like a snow bank and have the, some snow kicking out of the back of the tire. If that's yeah, you're flying doing. out, yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. So, do, do, you, do you feel like he needs to like kind of rat think it up a little bit more or um, or go away from that kind of character style? I don't know. Like, I think the way that he's drawing it now, it's going to be hard for him to kind of make it too rat clinky like 
with the over like exaggeration of um i don't think that's gonna work for this i don't think that's yeah. how he draws anyways so don't yeah. try to you know reinvent the wheel here but um i think if you just give them you gotta you gotta fix the face though that's yeah. that's the thing that's job number one and then everything else can kind of go from there but um it's a good idea good theme so uh yeah i, I really like the those things well, good to see him back though he hasn't been hey listen it's always good to see uh people get back into it especially if you after you take a break so yeah well he he got hired by uh new york mexico that's what's been keeping him busy all right okay yeah. well then listen you, you know <laughs> you have bigger fish bigger fish in the kettle so yeah um, yeah that's cool congratulations yeah. to him krampus and boy Phil's feels back. back yeah Phil is back again. Um, this thing, this thing needs to, I find this to be creepy as hell. All right. Yeah. I think that it's supposed to be, it's a great rendering. This dude did this last year. And the way that the basket is handled, the way that the face is just going to embroider great. Phil has a great way of simplifying it. Simple, simple lines, straightforward, it's fresh. Um, the only thing, and here's, this is my hang up is the actual, the, um, handcuffs, the, cuffs, the, or, the, the lack of, outline. I, yeah, they have no outline. Like, and listen, it works for some things. In my opinion, I think you need an outline on those. I mean, yeah. I, I get it because the, um, the links the actual chains, yeah. like you don't want, it to be muddled by too, you know, too much outline. But I would like to see how it would look with the outline in them. Um, yeah, I'm assuming they'll be metallic thread. I guess, right? I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, th I mean, it takes up a lot of real estate on the hat too. Um, and I personally love big logos because that's what I think makes clink clinkish is is large in your face. Can read it from across the store type um logo so this is great he did a great job in like picking out a great uh form for the for the figure a great pose that uh is gonna is gonna really be iconic uh should it get to uh production so i, I this gotta get through in I my opinion so. i don't know the story the story behind the character i vaguely know it's some kind of is it some kind of like european or i think it's Nordic german i want to say but okay. uh stall um, for me real quick and i'll look you up <laughs> yeah because th th there's something i mean it why do we need some christmas thing to scare children this is <laughs> christmas is supposed to be a time of joy <laughs> So, I mean, I think that maybe that is why this works. Um, and it's such a clink hat, right? Because, like, yeah. you know. So, Krampus is a Central and Eastern Alpine folklore of Europe. So, basically, he's uh, Santa's helper who scares children who are misbehaved. Oh yeah, so instead of getting cold, they get a visit from uh, I see. Krampus. I mean, because I'd be scared. If, the, if, if Krampus showed up, at my house, I'm under the bed. That's that's what that's what's going to happen. No is that what he uses those sticks for to, to to beat the kids with? Is that the thing? I mean, that's awful. But I badly love the behaved, <laughs> badly behaved ones only receive punishment from Krampus with birch rods. Hey, all right. I mean, so the Krampus is coming in and beating your children. That's basically yeah. what's what's going on. Um, wow. All right. Well, listen. I think this needs to make it through. This is this he, he's been sitting on this for a year. Um get Krampus in the store. I'm not buying this because I'm just gonna give me nightmares, <laughs> but I think everyone else should buy it. So um I like the color. I mean, the only problem now is this is the, basically a similar colorway to what he's got in the store with the turkey. The drive turkey. So I don't know. I mean, I think it worked great for this. Yeah. But um, I don't know what other options would be unless they're just going to make another one that's this color. But um, 
I, I give my full support for fear that Krampus is going to come after me. For fear of the birch <laughs> rods. <laughs> for fear of the, the birch rods, um, you know, making an, an unwanted appearance. Yeah. That's funny. He's almost got like the Fink style tongue too. We yeah, mentioned it on the earlier, earlier one. And but yeah. see, and that's a good example, like perfect placement of yeah. where that goes. Like it break, you know, it's it's designed, it's designed expertly. So yeah, you know, he did a great job. job. All right, what else we got? We have coming up next. We got North Pole Flurry. Flurry, yeah, this before at some point. I don't know. This, this looks brand new to me. Familiar to me. Hmm. So the Fun. baby yeti, Fun. Yeah. <laughs> with it's the fun. with the bear belly. It definitely, know. definitely a clink cap. I would say that the outline needs to be thicker though. That's way too thin. Yeah, uh, way too thin. So you almost don't need it. I mean, you don't, but. But I see that Again, I see why they did it because they got a thick black outline on a black yeah. hat. So, um, yeah, uh, no, nah, it's fun. It's um, sometimes what I end up when I when I'm doing something, and I'm like, nah, that outline's got to be thicker. I'm looking at the negative space and where it could be problematic, like right in where the candy the cane, cane in the box. Face. Yeah, yeah. So you're like. If you thicken that outline too much, it's going to leave a little spot of black in there, which, again, we're nitpicking. Is anyone going to be like, oh, that doesn't look right? No, but when I'm doing something, I think of that, and I'm like, maybe I don't want to put that there. So maybe I would move the hand down a little bit or mm -hmm. turn it so that thumb is more towards the, you know, pointing towards the right there so it doesn't create that little, that little space. But... Um, again, that's nitpicking. I think the colors are great. Uh, I love how the shadow is handled. I would probably put a little bit of that blue shadow under the face. Um, okay. A little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like this. Maybe al along this side of on the underside of the face and maybe um, right where the hair comes out of the hat. I don't know, but that's little stuff. But I, I really like this. I think this has got a. It, it's it looks like a clink hat to me. So. I don't know if I love the lack of nose on the face. I think overall it's like a cool concept. It's done nice. I think I would touch up the face a little bit if I were to nitpick. And um, for all the hat on hat lovers, how do you feel about like his hat not being the same color as the mm. actual hat, or is that too weird that you have to wear? A guy. <laughs> I don't. Position. I never subscribe to that. I, I yeah. Mean, I okay. Been, like that's never been bothered me. And I and, to, and I also say, I love a lack of nose. Uh, for okay. for whatever. Like I and maybe it's because I oftentimes will leave a nose out and certain okay. things depending on what depending on what it is. I yeah. think it works for this, um, because it just gives a more cartoony like. Yeah. feel to it a, like a lighthearted feel i think so i have no problem with it um he looks like he could hit the shit out of a ball though this guy listen i almost <laughs> want to have like, a mad face like yeah. um you know because it's so cute looking i almost want him to have like an angry look to his face or more maybe, maybe not angry mischievous yeah possibly. like uh like he's gonna hit this through your goddamn window like That's Calvin what, and Hobbes, Dennis the yeah, Menace, yeah, yeah. almost like you yeah, know, something I like can that. See that. But, um, cool, solid though, solid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Missile Toad. Okay. All right, the puns. Nice. The puns have um, arrived. All right. Yeah. Missile wow. Toad. Toad on a missile. I mean, he's got the streak lines. Yeah, the lime green. He, he, he does love a good streak line. I he likes know. the speed lines. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes he has the but speed lines is, going, like, in, in, yeah. <laughs> like into, I mean, but this this one this works makes sense. Yeah, because he's actually going somewhere. So, um, I would have. Here's what I would have done. I would have put like for me, put put like a red tip on the missile, like just because like I think it would add some balance to it. Yeah. Um. I would say the actual mistletoe needs to be bigger. The actual okay. what he's actually holding. Um, 
I don't think I don't love the face. Um, I think the face could be simplified. Well, let's put it this way: he doesn't need that kind of lips. Yeah. Um, I think that's just that's just a little too much. Like, just simplify. Take away the top portion of black where it's like really denoting a top lip. I don't think you need that. Um, I think he needs to look a little bit more frog like in the mouth area. Like it should be kind of not coming. It's almost looks like a, I don't know how to describe it, but like maybe the mouth should be a little bit more sloped. Whereas it's right here. It's like kind of rounded around yeah. I, I, that. I don't think is necessary. Um, the only trouble is if that mistletoe that he's holding the hand that's holding it is not well realized. I mean, I know it fits in with how thin he's done all the other ones, but the arm is too thin. The front arm, it's just really, really thin. So it's like, is it even, are you even going to see that green in the arm? Cause the black lines are going to overwhelm it. So I think he needs to have a little bit more, needs to be a little bit more robust. And like, the delineation between the green belly and the other green does not need a black outline. Like um, there's just too much black outlined in the body that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. He almost looks like a, the shape of him almost looks like a, a piece of male anatomy. Um, I, I would play with the proportions a little bit, maybe get the, uh, the missile larger, Cool thing could be like maybe add a, like a, a wreath on on the on the tip of it to kind of break up the color. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah. Um, and then for him, instead of holding a mistletoe, I think maybe it'd be funny if he had maybe like, a, like maybe the mistletoe was on a fishing rod almost or something, mm -hmm. like on a hook, and he's like holding a fishing rod. Um, I feel like if he's going fast, his hat wouldn't be flopping like that either. You mm -hmm. kind of want. But these are all like tiny little details. Maybe get a little fire out of the the missile. It's almost not like missile like. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Like, I mean, that would add another color to it. I'm not sure. I mean, you mm -hmm. want orange for something like that, ideally, but yeah, um, yeah, that would probably make more sense, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think you gotta you gotta take some of this outline out of the face. I mean, the mouth specifically and. Um, simplify that. Give, 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 like, give the frog's leg, like, especially the lower half of it. Give it a little bit more weight. Like, it's so thin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I would, I would do that. Um, and just, you know, beef up a little, beef up a little bit of that, of that arm. Take, take the black outline off of the belly. Um, it doesn't need to be outlined, I, you know, especially because you already have like in the leg and right up near the neck, you have those like little dots uh, of green. Those aren't outlined in black. So why no. are you outlining the, the stomach in, the, in black and the lips? It just, it's not. Yeah, right. So yeah. um, those. Cool concept, though. Yeah, no, I mean, we haven't seen a mistletoe concept, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else. Christmas, Christmas time, a half a yeah. All right. So this I've never. Like okay. I've never seen. Listen, I don't know where Rafael lives. I, mm -hmm. I live up in the Northeast. I've never seen. He's from Brazil. All right. I've He's never seen a cardinal in the dead of winter. Like I, <laughs> maybe they're that. Maybe they're there. I just never see them. Yeah. Um, but. Um, he does is that mistletoe his... in there too? You hit the little mistletoe. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, the berries are kind of tough to read, but yeah, I think yeah. you're right. Um, he does look love a good bird in a circle. That man. Um, yeah, this is... he loves the shapes. It's a follow up to the All reflections right. almost. If and this right. is what this is rendered like a champion. Mm -hmm. This is a championly rendered bird, absolutely. And, and we all know clinkers love birds. You know, we we all know that. So um, this has got a this got a puncher's chance because it's it's a well rendered bird. It is within a circle, yes. Um, I would have said, why not? If you're gonna do it, make it make it in like a snowflake shape, or yeah. Um, if you're gonna do a circle, have it be in a like a bulb or something like a Christmas ornament type thing. 
Um, what other Christmas things are interestingly yeah, the ball, shaped? The bulb would be yeah. cool. Like a bell, a Christmas bell, or I don't know, something like that. Um, I but I like he's, he's crunched almost. Like the body is not the wing is what is kind of, there might be a scaling issue here because like the wing is stubby like the, the, the tail yeah, is think, not long enough maybe yeah, it only has one foot well the foot is small for what the bird might look like i mean it's not a cartoony bird so like you know people like myself i do most of the stuff as cartoon so you can get away with shrinking yeah. things making things bigger whatever so this being so realistic looking and you know cool looking um yeah, that kind of stands out. Um, I do like how the background is handled, though. The um, the stars, the the uh, you know moon in the background, and then the mountain. That's cool. I like uh, the simplicity of that. Um, yeah. I I like that under visor. What color would you say that is? Vegas like gold. Yeah, yeah, like a Vegas gold. Right. Yeah, it's a nice. It's. The, the hat's colored nice. It's got a nice feel to it. Yeah, it's got a nice yeah. feel to it. Yeah, so like yeah, like like you said, it's it's a realistic bird. So if you go realistic, I feel like your proportions got to be a little bit more yeah. on because like right now it just feels like the bird's crunched yeah. um, a little bit. But you know, all in all, it's it's well done, um, and that's it. We made it through Christmas. So listen, that's a, that was a <laughs> good that was a good like week right there. For crits, I think honestly, to be honest with you, I think I think a good many of those have a chance to get right to get through. Well, what's what's scary is is there's only like forty something days left in the year. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna blink and it's over. Don't, don't say that because none of the shopping has been done. For no, I mean, for my Christmas I think list. most mo most uh, most people have been. Through it, through it enough, or doing most of their shopping on twenty third, twenty fourth, yeah. <laughs> crunch time. Damn. That's how the good, the good stuff gets bought. But uh, no, that was fun. Thank you for yeah, doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully the, these make it through. I think all in all, you know, I like thematic stuff. I don't love that. You know, the problem is, is you fight with it, right? Like, like right now, yeah, it's Christmas. You won't get them in time for Christmas. But uh, if you were to and do that, it on time, you'd have yeah. to order them in. So that's another question that I have. So it's like, if the hats take, we say three to six months, right? That's mm -hmm. what that's what we're saying. Should we have put Christmas hats in in the summertime and been like, all right, Are people gonna order them though? Are that's and wanna... that's that's the problem. And I often yeah. thinking about, it, I'm like, man, so these the Halloween hats, people so jazzed up. We got all these crazy like pumpkins and all kind of stuff. So you ordered it and are you only ordering it because you're in the Halloween spirit and you've been like, all right, I need to get me a Halloween hat, but I know yes. this pre-order is not coming through until next, you know, I'll get it by next Halloween. Yeah. So like, I don't know, like it always amazes me. I'm, I, I'm, hey, let me say this. I'm thankful. Clink people clink clinkers all over the world. I'm thankful that you guys are so loyal to the clink room. You guys are patient. You guys are, you know, discerning with, with what you like, what you don't like. And uh, it's awesome. It just amazes me that um, how much support clink room has from people all over the world. And it's just fantastic. But I always wonder about that. Like, would it be better served having like, these will be in time for Christmas. Like, so this should be, We'll put it in August for Christmas hats. Like people are hot and they're at the beach. No one wants to order a Christmas hat, I guess. Right. So um. it's tough. So one time I tried to make it arrive for Christmas. It didn't get here till like April. Oh. So then I, I just Googled halfway to Christmas and apparently that's national Leon day. So it's what? sometime in like July or whatever. Yeah. Cause Noel's Leon spelled backwards. Right. Oh, okay. So, All right. So that's what we did um, at the Cabal. Just we just released it. We're just like fuck it, halfway to Christmas. <laughs> Here's a hat. Wow. Uh, that's a Christmas hat, and then we saved the other colorway for Christmas. But then you're also holding your stock and whatever. So, dude, I've always dealt with this um, creating year round. But I think this. You're right though. You're gonna get more pre-orders if you do it in the 
when people are in the mood to see this stuff and right. in the spirit of it. But the practical thing is, is you won't get to wear it for Christmas. That's what kind of sucks about it. But I think most people now that are heavy clink room people, they aren't buying it to wear it right away. Like, right. They accept buy, that. Put it in a box. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, but I don't know. I, I can't speak for everyone. So, you know, we might get some comments like, what the hell? But you know, it's part of the game. You can't. I mean, because it's. I, let me tell you, I'm the type of person that I love Christmas, probably my favorite holiday. Not probably, absolutely, but don't start me with Christmas music and Christmas right movies the day after Halloween. Don't come with yeah. that nonsense. Um, wait. Would you say Thanksgiving's a good? A good Thanksgiving. Girl. Once Thanksgiving is over, once you put the fort down, and that's done for the, now. You, you all Canadian folk, have a different. Yeah, ours in October. Second right, so Monday of October. Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, wow. months ago. All right. So once that's different for you guys than me. <laughs> um, but once the once Black Friday shows up, Christmas it up. Christmas movies and all this and, and, and music, whatever, but no, don't don't start that before November even hits. That's crazy to me. Well, you know so, Mariah Carey's warming up her vocal cords yeah, on Halloween. That, 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 and and it, <laughs> the sad thing is it's a good song. I'm not yeah. even mad at the song. I'm just yeah. it, it's everywhere. It's everywhere you go. Um, but you know, it's to be expected. This is just uh it's what it is. It just has come upon us so fast. Yeah, exactly. I've done no I've done no shopping. Me either, um, door. You know, I, I've got uh, things to try to take care of, <laughs> but what are you gonna know? Yeah. But uh let us know in comments which ones uh you like yeah. the best and Oh. And uh, let us know if you are ready for Christmas, because I, for one, am not, and you are not. So um, we will all suffer together. <laughs> Listen, we, you know, you save up your pennies. You, you got your mm. jar, whatever it is, of of uh, Christmas funds that you've allocated over these eleven months, ten yeah. months, and uh, you just hope that it's going to be enough. Um, exactly. You know, but uh, for forty and Leon, we're out of here. Peace. Be good. All right, I'm popped. And now it's from within. The shadow it's been brought to an end. This is stealth villainy in the highest of forms. There's no denying the norms. These triads are quiet as storms. Changing circumstances.